In today's Sims 4 build challenge, we're gonna be building a house shaped like a flower. I've got that spring weather in the air right now. And after like six months of harsh winter here, I'm gonna be embracing that. So I'm gonna be building here in Henford on Bagley. This is a 40 by 30 lot. And to start out building our shell, I'm gonna be using the custom room tool here. And I'm just gonna start to build like our base. This is gonna be at the middle of the flower. Okay, that's not right. <laughs> Let me try that again. Okay, I think I've got my shape figured out. Now we're gonna start to draw the petals. And I feel like this might be way cooler if I could do different angles here. Like in future Sims games, I really hope we can just like customize the angle we want it at. But we're just gonna go up like this, maybe around a little bit and then back down. Then I'm gonna grab that room, copy it and rotate it onto each of the sides here. So just like finishing it off like that. And then for the diagonal one, we're gonna have to do pretty much the same thing, just like similar shape. Then I'm just gonna grab that and copy it onto all of the diagonal sides. So we're pretty much ending up with a shape like this. And I'm actually going to leave all of these interior walls like that because each of the petals can be a different room. So let's add some wallpaper out here. I'm going to use this one here from Cottage Living. I'm going to use this base game fence to go around the top. I'm not even going to try to roof this thing. Just kidding. I did try and roof this off camera and it ended pretty badly. So I'm just going to trace around to the top here with this. Next, I'm going to add this trim here from the Oasis Courtyard kit. I've always thought this one was so pretty. So I'm just going to put that all around the top. And then for flooring up here, I'm going to be using this base game tile in white. Now, I don't really want to leave it just like plain like this. So I'm going to go in and add these like glass flooring pieces. And I'm going to add that all around this like top part here. Maybe we can make some kind of design with it. So for now, I've done something like that. And even though I'm cutting into the walls here, we're going to hide it so it doesn't look so weird. But it'll be really nice because down below, now we're going to have a nice like skylight coming in. So I'm going to take this grass flooring and I'm going to turn the square shape into a triangle by doing control X. That'll toggle on and off that like triangle piece. And then it makes it really easy to make like diagonal shapes here. So very helpful, especially when you're using diagonal walls. So I've got something like that. And then I'm going to go in and everywhere that I put that grass, I'm going to fill it in with some cute flowers like these, especially any of like the weird parts there. We're just going to cut that off a little bit. Maybe I can also use this plant here from Island Living. And there we go. Now we've got something cute happening on our roof. I'm going to put a ladder leading up there. This one is from high school years. And then we can maybe add like some loungers up here, an umbrella, maybe a chess table over here too. And then for the landscaping down below, I feel like it's only fitting that we use a plant like wall around the entire thing. So I'm using these here for romantic garden stuff and I'm just going to be tracing around probably the entire thing. We'll see how that looks. And then I'm just going to use the smaller piece for any of these like angles here. Then in between here, I'm going to be using these here from Island Living, maybe also with some pink hedges. And I'm obsessed with using these like pink base game wildflowers. I think they're so pretty. So I'm just going to be like spamming those all over the place. For our windows, I'm going to be using these here from Moschino, I think. And since it's such an awkward shape, I don't know if there's going to be like a rhyme or reason to where I put them. I might actually try and like look inside and see how it looks when I put them. And we can always change it when we do the interior later. I think for my door, I'm going to try this one here from my wedding stories. And for my lighting, I'm going to be using these jar lights here from Cottage Living. Okay, so this is what our flower house turned out like on the outside. All of the flowers here look so pretty, so colorful. Up top, we've got our flowers, of course, on the roof, but then we've got a lounge area over there. I had to add some like gardening pots out here too, so we've got a couple of those. And over on this side, we have a chess table here too. Down to the side, I added a picnic table. There's also a pond all the way back here from Get Famous. I added that one like underneath the trees and you can fill it up with fish and stuff there. But wait until you guys see this layout. So I wasn't really sure how this was going to go. So in here, we're going to have our entryway right there. And this room will just be like a foyer, an entryway, hallway, whatever. Then in the middle, we're going to have a dining area. Up top, we're going to have a bedroom, a kitchen, another bedroom, an office. And I had to have like a plant slash garden room. So we're going to have an indoor gardening area. Then we're going to have a huge bathroom and a living room up top here. So I think I'm just going to start out down here at the entryway. And this room probably won't be anything too special here. I'm using one of the new rugs from the Growing Together pack. Ooh, the egg chair would be really pretty. We could do like an egg chair seating area. Maybe like a hallway table here from Growing Together in the middle. Cute. Okay. Maybe we could do like a bookshelf over here. Maybe we use like a couple of these new ones. And clearly this is going to be a very plant heavy build. So I'm going to fill these up with some plants. Maybe some more of these like wall lights here. This is already looking so pretty. I just put some of the Blooming Rooms kit plants right there by the entry. So you're going to like walk through it like that 
that. Look at the lighting from the skylights we put. I'm gonna finish this room off here with a mirror over to that side. And I think I'm gonna put one of these dressers here from high school years. This way we can hang some clothes. Your sims can grab them before they leave. We'll add some shoe clutter in there. And I guess since I have the room, I'm gonna use a couch here from high school years just to pull it all together. So this ended up looking more like a living room than I really wanted, but I'm not mad about it. This room ended up looking so pretty. Maybe in the other one, we can focus on putting like a TV or like some other entertainment or something, but I really like how this room turned out. Okay, let's move on from here. We're gonna go into the dining room. We've got some funky flooring in here because like from the top, I wanted it to look like seeds or something in the middle of the flower. So I'm using that flooring there from decor to the max and all of the wallpaper in here is from my wedding stories. Under the dining table, I'm putting this fuzzy rug from Snowy Escape and I might use these chairs here from my wedding stories around it. I was either gonna use these or that one from Outdoor Retreat. Maybe we could put those on like the end and then we've got like the flower chairs and also the woodsy ones over there. And then for the middle part, I obviously need to do like a floral centerpiece. So I think I might use these here from my wedding stories. You could even potentially turn this into like a really pretty wedding venue. All you would have to do is put like an arch over there, add some chairs. I feel like that would be a cute idea for here. On that note, actually, what if I used one of these archways? These are literally for like your Sims getting married from my wedding stories, but I'm gonna put it like around this door. So it's just hanging around it like that. That looks so pretty. That's leading into the main bedroom. Then it would make sense if this is like the honeymoon suite or your Sim just really likes flowers. Either you're getting married here or it's a home for the Easter bunny. Okay, so our dining room looking cute. I don't wanna fill it up too much in here because I wanna make sure your Sims can still like get around the table. So let's move on from the living room. Maybe now we should do the bedroom. So for the bedroom, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna use this bed from high school years. We could use this rug and like size it up and put it around the bed. And maybe we could put these like around too. We're definitely going overboard on the plants here today. <laughs> but what did you expect? The house is literally a flower. I'm gonna use that dresser there. Do we like this wall decal above the bed? I always thought it was really pretty there, but I don't know, maybe if I like do a couple hanging plants around, maybe not. Oh, instead we could use that there from Seasons. And then above here, I always forget about these, but these are from Seasons as well. And they're hiding under like that swatch there. So there's a bunch of cute little like flowers under there. I always forget about them. There's like this little leaf pattern we're gonna use. There, I think that's gonna be much better. On this side, I think I'm gonna use this mirror here from Growing Together. We can maybe add some like flowers over here to add to the decor. These hanging plants are working overtime today, girlies. Okay, so this is how I pulled together this side. I added a record player over to the left and I put some little flowers on it. I thought it looked really cute like that. We've got the lotus candles hanging around and I just added a little bit of extra seating in here because the room was pretty big. And then I don't know why, but I felt like I needed to put a treasure chest in here. <laughs> We've got our bed and our decor in the back. And I feel like it's very fitting for the rest of the house so far. Okay, let's just go clockwise here. I'm gonna start to do our kitchen, which is gonna be a little bit awkwardly shaped, but won't be too bad. I'm obsessed with this new fridge. So I'm gonna just keep using it, especially in the pink swatch. And maybe we can do some green counters. Let's see how that goes. I'm basically gonna bring them all the way over to the end here. I actually wouldn't mind having another window here either because in there we can see all of the plants. I feel like it kind of adds to it that way. So I'm gonna add a window there. I'm adding some counters over here on this side. We'll do a smoke detector. Our oven can go right here. And okay, so far we've got all our essentials other than our trash can, which I think I'm just gonna kind of like put over here to the side. And on this wall, I was thinking about using these coffee things here from Get Together. We could realistically put counters over here on this side too. I'm gonna do it. That way we have so much room for clutter. I could even put like a coffee maker over here or a microwave or both. <gasps> Wait, this hutch, I haven't used this in forever. I kind of forgot about it. It's from Jungle Adventure and look at the pretty shape on top of there. I gotta use this. I think I'm just gonna get rid of one of our counters and I'll squeeze that over there. Maybe we can kind of like attach it on to our counter. Ooh, I don't know, it's kind of squishy. Maybe I'll take this and bring it into our floral plant room where I've been kind of like shoving everything else. Even though there's like wine in there, maybe I can cover it up. It's not like it's far from the dining room or anything anyway. I'm gonna keep that one in mind. Okay, so our kitchen, we've got everything we need in here, our fridge, our oven, microwave, and coffee maker. It's surprising how much room we actually have in this house. It's actually pretty big when you think about it. This is what it looks like from this side with all the landscaping in there and on this side as well with that window there. That is so cute. Moving right along, we've got another bedroom and I keep having to fix all these plants because there's so many outside. I don't think I'm gonna use that bed though. I think I have to use this one here from Outdoor Retreat. But maybe this time we can change up the layout. I can put it here. I've been throwing 
throwing in these random like things. This is from Eco Lifestyle and I love the look of it. It has all that like blanket clutter on there. For this one, I think I'm gonna use this rug here from Laundry Day. I'm gonna put a skill item in here. Like maybe an easel can go over in the corner. We can maybe do a mirror over on this side. I'm definitely getting like guest room vibes from this bedroom. These end tables here would fit really nicely from Growing Together. Oh, since it's a guest bedroom, we could put some suitcases. Maybe I'll just put one like right over here by the door. Wait, no, it's the flower build. It has to be a bumblebee backpack. That's so cute. I'm hanging some of these here from the movie Hangout Stuff Pack. I'm bringing in a matching chair to our bed over in the corner there. And okay, I don't want to go too crazy in here. It is just a guest bedroom. I didn't put a dresser in here because you can actually use these suitcases as like a dresser to get changed and everything. But this is what we got for our guest bedroom in here. We've got our chair over here, an easel. You could honestly replace this with like a dresser right here if you wanted to. Like that also looks kind of cute. Maybe I'll leave it like that. Okay, let's move on from here onto our next room, which is going to be an office. I think I'm gonna put this all the way at the back. I'm using this from high school years. For our office chair, I feel like we have a floral pattern here. We do. I'm pretty sure high school years has like a lot of floral patterns. Oh, we could use this autumn in here. We had bookshelves in the other room, but I definitely still have room to put a big one right here. Oh, we could use that one. There's flowers on the side. Okay, we're gonna use that one there. It even has a cute little like flower picture on it. I'm gonna bring back that wall decal there from Seasons. And I'm gonna try and pull together this green and pink situation here. The little rugs here from the pastel pop kit. And then obviously we need a computer on here. So maybe we'll use like, I don't know, that little like drawing tablet with a cow mouse pad. I love that pastel pop kit. Plumbella really snapped with that one. I think this speaker here would be cute too. Maybe I can put that like, I could raise it onto this shelf. On top of here, we could do some of these like nifty knitting things. I'm liking to think maybe the person that lives here owns like a flower business. Maybe they do like floral arranging or gardening and they like sell that stuff online. I'm kind of becoming attached to the idea that this is someone's house, not just someone who gets married here. Maybe we could say they rent it out at times to people for wedding purposes, but it's not gonna be the focus of the build. Okay, so our office is complete. We've got flowers and plants galore in here, some seating, we've got our bookshelf. You could do some reading in here, some like work, I guess, on the computer. On this side, I just did a little table there with with like some more flowers and books on it. And with that, we're ready to move on to the next room. Okay, let's move over from here. We've got our entryway room all done already. The next one is going to be our gardening room, which I have so much <laughs> stuff in here. I actually think I'm gonna switch my bathroom with this room because looking at that bathroom, it's way too big for what I need. And I feel like the plant room should be pretty important in here. So I'm gonna move the archway over. We'll switch it with that door. And this room is gonna be our bathroom. So, okay, since this is gonna be so big, we can definitely split this room up a little bit. So I'm just gonna move my window and I'm gonna put a divider right there. We could do like toilet on this side with our sink can go right there, right beside it. I'm gonna use this mirror here from Werewolves, the moon shape one. I love the little like plants they've got going on in there. We'll get our toilet paper and I'll probably just add some like towels on this area. So, okay, there's that. And then on this side, I think I wanna put like a massive bathtub. Like one of the bigger ones here, maybe the get famous one could go. Or we just do a regular one, like kind of in the center here. And then behind there, we just make it look really cozy and pretty. We can raise these up from Eco Lifestyle and this can make like a little plant wall. I wish we had a really skinny waterfall. <laughs> I know we have one from Spa Day, but they're kind of big and also kind of bulky. Like I need one that's just going to be one tile right down the middle there. That would be so pretty. So instead, I'm just going to fill this back area up here with a bunch of plants. Did you see that one coming? Okay, so this is what our bathroom ended up looking like in this build. We've got our bathtub over there with a stool and some towels on it. Then over on this side, we have our toilet, our sink, everything else we're gonna need for the bathroom. We only have a couple rooms left. We've got our gardening room and our living room over here. So let's start out with the gardening room. I did say I wanted to do some floral arranging. So I think I'm gonna put that like right here by the window. And then this is gonna go at the end here. I'm really determined to make that work today. So floral arranging table. I also wanted to include some like gardening pots over here. Maybe I could put some cleaning things in here too. Like that broom, I feel like just fits in here. I would assume it would probably get a little bit messy in a floral arranging room. We're gonna fill this thing up with a bunch of different like flowers. And I was gonna cover up the wine bottles in there, but the more I think about it, I don't really mind. Maybe they like to have a little bit of wine on the job. I'm gonna put this easel in here. Maybe they like make wedding decorations. That would be a cute idea for like the sim living here. Actually on that note over in this corner, I'm gonna put up a bunch of little shelves. And then on there, I've opened up debug. I'm gonna put a whole bunch of these little like decorations from my wedding 
those stories. They're gonna be that sim that creates all these little like flower decorations. Oh, that cow plant one is so cute. All the like floral wedding decor. We have figured it out. The backstory behind this weird house. <laughs> all right, so we've got our floral arranging table in here. This is going to be our gardening slash like crafting room. I love the idea of them creating all the wedding stuff in here. I feel like that's really pulling this whole build and story together. And I'm glad we decided to make this one the bigger room because we clearly needed it for everything I wanted to put in here. Okay, we have one more room to go, which is going to be our living room. And I had this idea, this is a base game archway here. What if I put my TV like under it? I don't know how this is gonna look, but I can literally put my TV like that. A fireplace here is probably not the best idea, but you know what? I think it looks cool, so I'm gonna leave it. So I've got my couch in there, my chair. I'm gonna use this rug here from high school years. And for our final room, we've got our living room. In the back there, I just added a couple more canvases from Eco Lifestyle. We've got some more hanging plants, of course, our couch and chairs from high school years. And that is the final room of this flower inspired build here. Look how cool it looks from the top. That's actually pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, I love this. This has been my house shaped like a flower build in The Sims 4. I will put this on the gallery under Sydney Macarena, by the way. If you're ever looking for my gallery, a lot of people have a hard time finding it. It's in the description. And if you guys like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.